two years since the Prime Minister announced the UK's first official lockdown, telling the country you must stay at home. Memorable that, wasn't yeah. it? Well, since then, nearly 164,000 people have died with COVID-19. Here's how one hospital, the Royal Derby, looks back on that time. Rob Sissons has more. Meet Paul, a porter in Derby's hospitals for 11 years. He says the last two have been the toughest. Paul's job means he walks 12 to 15 miles a day at work. In the pandemic, he says there's been the enemy, the invisible virus, but also another one, fear. A lot of people didn't want to come into hospital because they thought they were actually putting themselves at more harm's risk than anything else. But we were probably the safest place to be because we've got all the safety features in place. Uh, and obviously we're still here for people that haven't got corona. You know, we're a hospital 24 hours a day, so that's what we do. He says many people who ended up in hospital with COVID felt disorientated. Some were very frightened, some were a bit blasé, but the majority, I think, were, were, were confused to, you know, what, what was going to happen, what next, how long are they going to have the COVID for, what symptoms, because all the people had different symptoms and for different lengths of time. So there's a lot of confusion, a lot of worry. Survival rates in intensive care have improved throughout the pandemic. It was a huge learning curve, helped by the development of new treatments. Kaylee Leehal is a pharmacist at the Royal Derby Hospital. She says her team has an important job, with more and more drug therapies now available for COVID patients. To begin with, there were no COVID treatments at all. So then when we got involved in the recovery trials to develop new COVID management and COVID treatments. So that was just looking at stuff like steroids to begin with and any of the antivirals and which have become mainstay in treatment now. So we were enrolled in that and we took on a lot of patients during that time. The mortuary manager, Gavin Regan's proud how his team has coped. The Derby-based trust had more deaths, nearly 2,000 linked to COVID, more than any other in the East Midlands. We have felt the mental fatigue over the last two years. I think it's important to say that it was very, very busy and you know the team just fantastically kept going all the way through. The Mortuary is a very busy place to be, normally over winter, Easter periods, and we saw those activity, that activity level completely throughout the year. Um, for that first year, start to tail off a little bit if we put in some of those restrictions and lockdowns. And then as you're sort of going in towards winter periods again, those deaths just creeping back up again. Vaccines have changed so much. Deaths are way down. And the hope with that protection, the worst of the pandemic is behind us. Well, a memorial concert to mark two years since the first nationwide lockdown is being held at St Paul's Cathedral this morning. Our health correspondent...